Good morning, good afternoon, and good night wherever you are. Welcome to my creative life. I'm Key, and I'm still quarantined. So much fun, so much fun. Basically, I've been doing everything I advised everyone to do in my last video. I've been reading books, I've been exercising and eating healthy, I've been staying productive, and I've also binge watched basically all of the Netflix shows I wanted to watch, and I'm basically bored. You know, there's only so much you can do in the house, but I thought about it. I'm a visual artist. Guess what I can do? I can paint. So I'm gonna be working on these paintings today. I showed you guys the start of this series in my other video, Create With Me. Um, I worked on smaller paintings and went over a little bit of my abstract process. So now you guys get to see more of what I do. And you know, this is giving y'all some content to watch while y'all quarantine too, cause we both here. <sighs> I don't know how we're gonna make it, <laughs> but we will. <laughs> but anyways, that's enough talking. Let me get right into it. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is protect any surface that I work on. Right now it's gonna be the floor. So I got this scrap piece of paper and I'm gonna put it under my canvas because acrylic paint will stain your floor. Next up, gloves. So I put on some gloves because I'm gonna be doing some finger painting and I want to protect my hands. This is the great thing about abstract art. You don't only have to use brushes. You can use whatever tool you want to. Today, it will be these things. Fingers. Well, it'd be awfully hard to paint without paint. So the next step is to gather your materials. That's what I do. And um, I got my paint right here. So now I can get started. I've mentioned to y'all before that my work is very conceptual and that means that I use abstract art to depict an idea or a meaningful message. The golden circle represents the sense of peace, the guiding light, the inner voice, and the feeling of being complete. The outside represents anxiety, chaos, fear, emotions, overstimulation, and distraction. I wanted the chaos to take form as a tidal wave because it's always trying to overcome and wash out the beauty of life. The tidal wave can seem so strong, so immense, but it can never destroy the golden circle. The golden circle is impenetrable, solid, and eternal. The ebbs and flow of life's pain will always come to pass, but our golden heart intentions and words remain consistent through it all anytime i create abstract art i approach it just as technically as i would any observational painting the difference is i'm communicating an idea rather than an image i'm using everything i know about composition color palette focal points and leading lines to make this piece interesting what i'm focused on in this session is creating a sense of depth and form I'm using my fingers and even the tips of the gloves to get different strokes onto the canvas. I kind of let my fingers dance and run along the canvas at different pressures. This has a visual tactile effect and it helps to add motion to the piece. I'm also keeping in mind the physics of a wave. Waves are usually tapered and curved and when they crash into a solid object, they disperse into droplets. So with the black paint, I'm creating that negative space to make the red paint look kind of like ocean spray. 
this is abstract so I don't want it to be too obvious that it's a wave to some people this piece may tell a completely different story and that's what art is all about it's about connecting to it in your own way What's important to me in my work is that all of the visual elements come together to create a narrative. In another session, I'll be adding highlights and other things to bring forth that waveform, but I'm not going to do that all in one day. Also, in a future session, I'm going to be adding more gold to the golden circle because you can see the background peeking through it. So I got to make that golden circle super golden, right? <laughs> so that's how I add a bit of shadow to my abstract work. And what this did was help bring out the form of the wave. Now I'm not going to show y'all everything I do in my abstract work because I don't want to give away all of my secrets. But yeah, this is what it looks like so far well i hope that this video entertained y'all while we're all quarantined please stay safe take all safety precautions do the five wash your hands wash your bodies and to all the people who have lost loved ones because of the coronavirus my prayers and my condolences go out to you and to anyone affected by the coronavirus i wish that you have a speedy and healthy recovery um, if you would like to, please comment down below, like this video, and hit that subscribe button. If you're feeling really inspired, turn those post notifications on and create life with me. Thank y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.